Hey there, my name is Erin and let me take you on a journey with me to the place called Japan. Wow, who is that? <laughs> this is me, the only me. I've been eating a lot of pokies with matcha lately. I think it's bad for my body. <laughs> because you'll get really fat <laughs> at the end of the trip. So again, I have a little time to discuss what's been happening like throughout this couple of days and what have I learned and what happened and whatever. So I finished my last video with the thoughts about my school. So we had an entrance ceremony like new gakushiki where like the principal of the school made a speech and also the teachers and also they told us about how will it go and um, about all the different stuff and before that we wrote a test to get to know our level of Japanese language so after that we had a ceremony in which they were going to tell us um, which classes do we have, like morning classes or afternoon classes. I have the morning classes. Wow, congratulations to me, like waking up 6.30 every morning. <laughs> it's not that bad, by the way, <laughs> like, uh, it's hard going through like the rush hours in public transport. Um, it's like the first day was really harsh for me and I couldn't like exit at the station I wanted to exit because the train was so, so like it was very, very crowded and eventually I got out and then the next day it was raining like it is now and because of that somehow my train just didn't arrive at the station at all so it just, it just didn't arrive so I had to pick another one and when I was going to another one it was like different station I have never been to and um, I was quite confused where to go and where is my exit that I needed and it was all confused but I eventually like got there on time. So like they warned us to not be late for our classes because it's a bad bad behavior, it's considered to be bad behavior and also you're not led into class if you're like more than I guess 10 minutes late or something and also we have a lot of homework to do which we're supposed to do also we have some tests like every now and then about the kanji and some grammar tests as well I guess we have different teachers every day so we have four lessons four morning lessons starting 9 a.m. finishing like 12 30 p.m. Uh, we have four lessons and two with each teacher so so about the entrance day and my level itself so I have an N3 level so it's like one level below the one that they need um, at work usually so if I would like to get a job related to Japanese language I would need N2 which is higher than N3 and I have N3 right now and about the entrance day and the test day I've made a new friend, which is really cool. This is a nice girl from the Philippines and we had a talk in English because I asked her to have a talk in English because I thought I was forgetting it like day by day. We had a nice chat and we had a great time spent together and we added each other in Facebook, which was nice as well. Also, I've met a Thai girl and I was also saying that I was afraid that I will have some Russians in my group and it will spoil my practice, but heck no, <laughs> no Russians in my group and no Europeans as well and <laughs> no Americans as well, which is pretty weird. <laughs> we have a couple of guys from Nepal, we have a couple of people from Sri Lanka, we have a couple of girls from China, we also have Indonesia, Thai, Vietnam, oh, and the Philippines, yeah, of course. It's so intercultural and so international, but they all happen to be like really nice people and really funny as well, so the yesterday was quite tough because it was the first day and today it was, it became a little better because we switched like partners a lot, so I got 
to know a little bit about them all and now it's like getting better and better I guess. And also me and my Russian friend we've gone to the Imperial Gardens which was really cool and nice and beautiful. We took a lot of pictures in there. We walked across the gardens together and also after that we went to the Ikebukuro Tokyo hands and I bought myself a nice bento in there which is really cool it has like the chopsticks and all together at once like two sections and it's not really big this is exactly what I wanted and we also have been walking across the streets a lot I even didn't have enough time to do my homework yesterday it was so bad and now I think I'll finish doing my homework Japanese homework and after that we'll have a nice dinner and go to sleep. Oh my god, finally. And tomorrow we have a trip to Yokohama with our group of Russian people all together, like my Russian friend will be there, also I will be there, also some random people from Russia will be there as well, so I hope it's going to be okay and nice and cool. I'm going to film there as well, so probably the next video will involve a lot of Yokohama in there and maybe it won't, I don't know about that. <laughs> so, I mean, thank you so much for watching this video once again, I hope you liked it and I hope you enjoyed it and if you haven't checked out like the last, the previous couple of videos, if this is the first one, I recommend you checking them out. They're not very long and they're in a playlist called A Place Called Japan, so check them out if you're interested. Also, leave your comments if you have some questions, if you have some suggestions for me, what for me to visit in Japan. Just now I have, I make plans like day by day, the random ones. So thank you so much for watching once again and see you and I'll see you once again in a place called Japan.